Here's another edition of Animal Planet News. They cover just a tiny portion of the planet, only 2% of all our land, but they're home to more than half the plant and animal species on Earth. They're called biodiversity hotspots because they're in grave danger. Now conservationists are coming to the rescue. They've mapped out 17 of these so-called hotspots, each home to plant and animal life that's found nowhere else. If any one of them disappears, thousands of species will be lost forever. They're the areas that deserve bonus points, very special attention in any efforts to conserve biodiversity worldwide. All of the hotspots have under 25% of original natural vegetation remaining. In some cases, only 1% to 5% of original habitat remains. Most of the hotspots are in the tropics, and most are rainforests. They're disappearing because of destruction by humans, including unsustainable logging, the burning of jungle areas to create farmland, and uncontrolled development. Some hotspots stand out as top priorities, like the island of Madagascar, home of the remaining 50 species of lemurs. Conservationists are working to see that all the biodiversity hotspots are protected, to ensure that this planet's rich and diverse natural wealth is carried safely into the next century. There is a tendency to descend into gloom and doom. But what we have with the threatened hotspots approach is a way of making this biodiversity crisis that much more manageable. And that is why we are recommending that these threatened hotspots receive maximum international attention in the years to come. Conservationists are working to see that all the biodiversity hotspots are protected to ensure that this planet's rich and diverse natural wealth is carried safely into the next century. And that's Animal Planet News. <laughs>